everyone is talking about AGI. 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 If you listen to the internet, AGI is either a god, a demon, or a deadline. But in reality, AGI is none of those things. It's a technical idea that's been distorted by hype, fear, and bad metaphors. So let's strip all of that away. Let's remove the timeline, the fears, and all of the guessing. This is what AGI is, explained without hype. Intelligence is a collection of skills and an ability to acquire new skills efficiently. And because it's a multidimensional thing, the set of skills is a high dimensional space, you cannot compare two things as to whether one is more intelligent than the other. It's multidimensional. Let's start with the definition. AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. But this definition alone already causes problems. Because general doesn't mean conscious. For sure, it doesn't mean emotional. It doesn't mean human either. And it definitely doesn't mean self-aware. It simply means broad. AGI in its original sense refers to a system that can do the following. Learn across many domains, transfer knowledge between tasks, and adapt to new problems without having to be retrained from scratch. In other words, it's not a specialist, but more like like a general problem solver. And this whole AGI confusion starts because we see all of these YouTube videos that equate general with same as human. Headlines on lots of websites equate general with super intelligent. And social media on which we spend hours every single day equates AGI with the end of everything. None of that is part of the actual definition. So before asking when does AGI arrive, we need to first understand what threshold people are talking about. Before we talk about AGI, where exactly are we right now? Modern AI systems are very powerful. They can write code, generate images and videos, analyze any data out there, and reason through complex problems. But they are still narrow. Not because they are dumb, but because they operate inside carefully defined boundaries. They never decide what problems matter, and they definitely do not understand the world outside of their inputs. All they do is respond. They never initiate. This is why today's AI feels simultaneously impressive and fragile. It can can outperform humans in specific tasks and completely fail in others that seem trivial. And AGI, ladies and gentlemen, as researchers use the term, is about closing that gap. Not becoming human, but becoming flexible. Feel like we are in the AJI phase where like dramatic progress, some things don't work well, but overall, you know, you're seeing uh, lots of progress. When people inside AI labs talk about AGI, they are usually referring to a capability threshold, not a moment. A point where systems can do the following. Learn new domains quickly, chain reasoning across different fields, work autonomously for long periods, and this one is very important. Improve through feedback, not constant retraining. Think less of a robot will take over the world and more of software becomes a universal problem solver. And this is why timelines vary so widely, because AGI is not just one simple switch. It's more of a slope. And depending on where you draw the line, we're either nowhere near it or already partway up the hill. I feel like, you know, AGI has become a term of hype rather than a technical term. Oh, I think the original definition that I knew of was AI that could do an intellectual task a human fan. And most of us can, you know, learn to drive a car in a brand new environment, like the you know, safari, right? With a few minutes of training or most of us could really learn to fly an airplane with a few dozen of eyes, uh, uh, and I learned to, whatever, you know, pilot a boat, right? So these are all tasks that humans can do. They're actually pretty far from AI being able to do. So I think actually very far from AGI as our vision conceived. Some researchers are saying AGI is decades away. Others say it could arrive in the next few years. And here's why they are not contradicting each other. They are often talking about different definitions of AGI, totally different benchmarks. And of course, we're individuals, so we're going to have different assumptions. Some groups are focusing on reliability, alignment, or maybe even robustness. Other groups focus on raw capability, scaling laws, and the economic impact. That is why when you hear a date such as 2026 or 2045, it's not a prophecy. It's a statement about when systems become useful enough to change the world, even if they are imperfect. So here's the part that often gets missed. The world doesn't change when AGI arrives. And it does that when AI will become cheap, integrated, and invisible. When it's no longer something that you use, but something embedded in how work and creativity function. So by the time we argue whether a system qualifies as AGI, that is why this transition matters much more than the label.
the biggest risk about AGI is not rogue robots that will try to take over the world. They are misaligned incentives because when companies are rewarded for speed, profit or dominance, that is when safety and long-term consequences become secondary. Rushed deployment because powerful systems get released before we fully understand their failures, edge cases or societal impact. Uneven access because advanced AI concentrated in the hands of a few people will widen economic, political and knowledge inequality. And of course, last but not least, institutions moving slower than technology because laws, education and governance simply cannot adapt fast enough to keep up with the exponential growth of AI. AGI doesn't need to be conscious to become disruptive. It just needs to be faster than humans, cheaper than humans and widely deployed. Looking at it like this can reshape the way you look at AGI. have systems that can learn like hierarchical planning, hierarchical representations, systems that can be configured for a lot of different situations at hand, the way the human brain can. Um, uh, you know, all of this is going to take, you know, at least a decade and probably much more because there are a lot of problems that we're not seeing right now that we have not encountered. And so we don't know if there is an easy solution within this framework. This brings us back to 2026. We've made an important video about this explaining why 2026 is the most important year for AI. You can check it out by clicking here. This year is not important because AGI suddenly appears out of nowhere. It is very important because it may mark the point where AI systems cross from tools into infrastructure. And that is when the main debate will shift from can AI do this to how do we live with this? So whether we call that AGI or not is not important. What matters is the transition that all of us will feel. And that is why AGI is not magic. It's also not destiny. And it's not a single moment in time. It's a gradual shift in capability that will force us to rethink work, knowledge and control. So the most important question you should ask yourself right now is not when will AGI arrive, but it's am I paying attention while the ground is slowly moving beneath me? Because by the time the world AGI will feel obvious, the world may already be different quietly, incrementally, and without the hype.